The internet has made many things possible that were once thought of as far-fetched, science fiction, and plain impossible. One of my favorite introductions to the world and something that I use every day of my life is YouTube. My name is Kevin Streaks and I would be honored if you all would allow me to take you on a short journey on the history of this awesome innovation, its creators, and the impact it has had on us as a society this far. Chad Hurley, along with his two co-founders Steve Chen and Jared Karim, came up with the idea to start a service that would allow people to upload content to share with others. I know, crazy right? Chad Hurley, former CEO of YouTube, was born on the 24th of January 1977 in the town of Birdsboro, Pennsylvania. He received his bachelor's degree in fine arts from the University of Pennsylvania and would go on to work with eBay in their PayPal division. His main focus while working there would be the user interface. I mean, someone had to make it run right, right? <laughs> Okay. In 2006, he was ranked number 28 in Business 2.0 Magazine's list of 50 people who matter. And believe me, with all the people in this world, to be ranked number 28 out of 50 people who matter now is a great accomplishment. Steve Chen, Chief Technology Officer, was born in August of 1978 in Taipei, Taiwan. He, along with his family, immigrated to the United States when he was 15 years old. He graduated from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and, like Hurley, also worked at PayPal. Along with co-founder Chad Hurley, he was also named in Business 2.0's 50 Most Influential People, GQ's Man of the Year, and Fortune's Most Powerful People in Business. They were also prominently featured in Time Magazine's Person of the Year issue and received credit for largely influencing the publication's unprecedented selection of You in a year that YouTube led the digital democracy explosion. Jared Karim earned his bachelor's degree in computer science in 2004 and, like his counterparts, went on to work for PayPal. In the initial days of YouTube, he acted as an advisor where he contributed many ideas which led to the video sharing capacity of the website. Although his counterparts continued on their trek to become celebrities in the media and internet world, he went back to school to work on his computer science degree. YouTube was founded by the three friends in 2005, and the first video uploaded entitled Me at the Zoo, uploaded by Karim, currently has over 18 million views. In 2006, they sold YouTube to Google for $1.6 billion in stock. In case you didn't hear what I said, that's $1.6 billion in stock. Yes, that's nine zeros, my friends. YouTube quickly became one of the web's fastest growing websites and was ranked as the 10th most popular website just a year after its launch. There are reportedly 100 million clips viewed daily on YouTube, with an additional 65,000 uploaded every 24 hours, according to Biography.com. Personally, I use YouTube every day of my life. I'm very methodical in my routine. I check daily for new videos added to my what to watch list. After that, I check my subscriptions. And then I go on to search for any new content that was added and change the drop down list to upload date which will give me the newest results to the oldest. Just this past weekend, my partner and I were craving Chinese food and as we recently returned to eating healthier and making better choices, we searched for a recipe online and I don't mean to brag, but it was better than any takeout we'd ever had. And we knew exactly what was in it, no MSG or any 12 syllable preservatives that nobody could pronounce anyway. YouTube is what is known as a content aggregator. What that means is basically what you see when you log onto the website. It's a collection of videos and music gathered from various online sources made public and available for reuse and in some instances resale. In the last few years, YouTube has spawned many pseudo celebrities. Hey guys, it's me Miranda. So today I thought it'd be really fun to sing a song that shows that I am bilingual and I can sing any single language and speak every single language. So Hello, this is Wilma. Are you okay? Is your book because I want to know. Okay, so this is a, a video sponsored by Audible. So what does that mean? It's a challenge video. Yay! We got a challenge video, Luca. Everyone. My name is Tyler Oakley, and if you couldn't tell, I am here in Brighton at Zoe's house, and I was like, you know what? Just because I am abroad and on vacation and working and filming a whole bunch of videos for y'all doesn't mean that I can't sit down and do a little cute and slay Many for you. Many which have parlayed their online success into actual careers. And you say that you love her, and you really know everything used to matter, don't matter no more, like my money or the cost. You can have it all, touched by the words in the song now, baby. 
You sing with me or what? <laughs> you got it, you got it bad when you're on the phone. Others have become paid contributors, and many of them have garnered huge online followings. I myself have been thinking about getting into vlogging for some time, but as I'm a huge procrastinator, I have yet to put this plan into action. Wait, actually, I'm being a bit of a liar right now. I recently started populating my own YouTube profile with content which I plan to continue updating in the weeks and months to come. So my friends, there you have it. Now you know a little more about YouTube, maybe more than you did before this presentation. And if that's the case, I'm happy to have shared with you what I learned in my research. Thanks for watching. Alright, so here we are in front of the uh, elephants. Um, the cool thing about these guys is that, is that they have really, really, really long um, fronts, and that's, that's cool. And that's pretty much all there is to say.